school today. Um, many of y'all know I just got back from the paparazzi cruise and um, I have so much that I have learned that I want to share with you guys. It's not, well, let me just say, it's not a whole lot, but I talked to many, many of the uh, elite leaders or elite leaders in this company while uh, on this cruise and they gave me some um, eye-opening information that I wanted to share with you guys. Hey, Tammy. So y'all come on in. If you are watching the replay, let me know in the comments. If you are watching on YouTube, um, thank you for joining and be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you'll be notifi notified whenever I upload a new training. Um, so yeah, we just got back from the Passport Vacation Cruise, uh, 2020. So fun. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. Paparazzi, um, rented out the entire ship. It was the Norwegian Dawn ship. We, uh, set sail out of Tampa, Florida, ran down to the Cayman Islands for a day, and then on to Cozumel and had a blast. It was so much fun. If you're already on my team, y'all need to make plans to do the passport vacation next year. It's awesome. It's awesome. So much fun. Um, if you're not on my team, you better think about it because I'm telling you, you're missing out. Oh my goodness, you're missing out. So, um, hey Tori, hey Michelle. So anyway, during the cruise, of course, uh, all of our elites are on the ship and you're running into them left and right. And, you know, my husband gave me such a hard time. He was like, ah, don't you be fangirling out on these people, you know? <laughs> so, and I didn't want to do that. I mean, we were all on vacation, right? And I didn't want to take up a whole lot of their time. But there was a few of them that when I saw them, I was like, oh my gosh, hey, you know, just love your trainings. I love what you teach us, you know, because I do follow a lot of them on uh, YouTube. Uh, a lot of our elites do have some really good training channels. And uh, yeah, I do, I kind of stalk a few of them. And that's what I would tell them whenever I would pop, pop over to where they were at. Hey, I'm, I'm one of your YouTube stalkers kind of thing. So yeah, we'd always have a really good laugh. Um, but anyway, so fun. If you check out my Facebook page, you'll see some of the pictures. I think I've got, I've got one with Miss Heidi Bound. I've got a picture in there um, with Natalie, of course, Miss Natalie Hadley, beautiful Natalie. Um, got another picture in there with, um, oh my goodness, a couple of them I didn't get pictures with. Miss Danielle Baker, I talked to her for quite a while, uh, didn't get a picture. I guess I was too um, I don't know. I was too into what we were talking about and forgot about the picture. Oh my goodness. So I'll have to, I'll have to get with her and, and get a picture later. But, um, also, um, goodness, Erica Champion Wise, I got a picture with her and, uh, anyway, Miss Valerie, uh, but I had conversations with each and every one of these ladies, um, on the ship at different times. So what I what I want to stress to you girls is that I talked to each one of these people individually. That it wasn't like a group setting. It wasn't like um, you know we all sat down and started chatting together and they just agreed with each other. These were separate conversations that I had with different elite leaders within the company, and um, they all pretty much said the same thing. 
So, you know, that gives me a lot, uh, that, that puts a lot of validity to what each one of them is saying because it's supporting um, what each one is saying. Does that make sense? Hey, Michelle. Hey, Karen. Hey, Megan. Um, so, um, as I went throughout the week and would have these little short conversations, I didn't want to take up their time because, you know, it was, uh, it was vacation, but, um, the sentiment was pretty much the same because what I would ask each and every one of them was, how did you do it? How did you get to elite? Uh, Miss Ramey of the 19 or 2019 Ramey necklace. I don't know the Z collection piece. I got the privilege of hanging out with her and Mr. Hunter Matthew on um, a little catamaran and we went snorkeling together and went to a private beach and hung out um, with them. So I had some little one-on-one -on -one time with Miss Ramey, um, which was so much fun, by the way. Just saying. Hey, Miss Terry. Um, but I asked her how she got her necklace. I wanted to know, what did you do? What did you do, Ramey? Miss Ramey, she's beautiful, by the way. If you haven't seen her, she is gorgeous and she's so sweet. But I asked her, how did you, how'd you get your necklace? And she just said, girl, I worked my butt off. She works a full-time job and then she would come home and she said she would go live every single day, every day every day for four hours four hours every day well let me tell you each and every person that i talked to during the week pretty much said the same thing i'm looking for my son he's going to come out the door here in a minute and y'all are going to hear him get in the car and he's probably going to be very loud so y'all are going to have to bear with me um but um each and every person that i talked to throughout the week um Pretty much said the same thing they worked their butts off they went live all the time they kept their face in front of um, their customers they stayed on Facebook all the time they worked their algorithm uh, all the all the algorithm stuff which we'll go over that here in just a second um, they worked that consistently every single day um, they were on Facebook posting those engagement posts and talking to people and adding new friends um, every single day. Add friends to your friends list. If they, it, you know, it, and there, there's a little bit of danger in doing that. I'm not, I'm not, I know, I get it. I've had a lot of those that I friended and then later I'm going, oh, sorry, block. <laughs> and that's okay, you know, because you're going to get the, you know, those odd ones that um going to, I could go into detail, but I, I, y'all know what I mean. Y'all know. So if you get the weird ones or whatever, you can always block them or delete them, unfriend them. Um, but add your people every single day. That is first and foremost, because you need as many eyes on your stuff as possible. Once they're on your friends list, you need to start talking about your business. You need to be talking about your business on your personal wall every single day. Um, I'm not saying all day long, but there needs to be a post on your wall every single day. And let me tell you, girls, I'm preaching to myself at the same time that I'm talking to y'all. Um, so do your algorithm work. Ask those crazy little questions that get people interacting with you and then chat with those people when they start commenting on your stuff. You know, ask a, a question that leads to another question, if at all possible. Um, like... I could very easily say, okay, I just got back from a cruise. What's your favorite cruise line? And when people start answering, I'm going to come back like someone comes in and says carnival. I'm going to ask them, I'm going to reply back to them, and I'm going to ask them, why do you like carnival better? And maybe they say it was the food. And I could comment back to them something like, wow i've been on carnival before i really like the entertainment what did you think about the entertainment so now you have created this back and forth conversation on one little um portion 
with one person under your thread and now you have a back and forth uh, conversation going with this person that uh, creates a solid connection on Facebook with them and now they're gonna see your stuff that you post more often um, that's algorithm work girls that's algorithm work adding your friends and talking to them it's social media you gotta be social you gotta be social no matter what but that's going to create those connections and therefore getting your face pushed out there a little bit further every day every day um, so do your algorithm work go live as often as possible go live as often as possible Ramey said she was going seven days a week I was like girl that's a lot of work she said yes she said I was tired but here's the bottom line you're gonna get out of this business what you put into it girls I'm tired <laughs> this boat that we were on girl the water was rocky and it was kind of rough and so all week I don't think there was a moment that I was still because I was always rocking with the boat trying to walk and you know you're using muscles that <laughs> you're not used to using when you're trying to walk on a boat that's rocking back and forth um, we were still rocking when we were sleeping I mean it was so oh goodness there's notifications I didn't turn down my notifications hang on um, so <sighs> hang on girls you know you know you know I forgot um, so I'm sore and tired and um, anyway I'm sore and I'm tired and I don't feel like going live but you know what you guys needed to hear what I what I found out um, while I was gone I know y'all were anxious to hear all this stuff and I got to go live tonight so I've got to put my show together you know what I'm gonna get out of this business what I put into it if I put an hour a week into it that's the return I'm gonna get if I put two hours or 10 hours a week into it that's the return that I'm gonna get if I put 40 hours a week into this business and I know a lot of us can't do that don't get me wrong some of us have started this business as just a little side hustle you just need to pay a bill or you want an extra 50 bucks a week in your pocket I get it I get it if that's not what you want then work it the way you need to work it you know what I'm saying I get it but for those of us like me who really want a full-time income from a full-time business you got to work it full-time and if you want more you work it more than full-time does that make sense um i'm not telling you you got to work it the way i work it work it your way but consistently across the board from everybody that i talked to all of these elites that i talked to this week it was going live as much as possible and doing your algorithm work that's how they created their empire you know we're all working towards our empire right at least I am anyway um you're gonna get out of this business what you put into it so um, maybe you need to think about changing up your schedule a little bit maybe you need to think about adding another live or two during the week maybe you need to think about uh, some really cool uh, engagement posts that you can do during the week every day girls every day I know it gets tiring I know it's hard to chat with that many people I'm not that personable I'm really not <laughs> I try to be you know but it's hard for me to chat with people I feel like I'm wasting their time or getting on their nerves or whatever but you know what those who are interested in you and your business are gonna hang with you and they're gonna understand and they're you know that if and if you have poured into them they're going to give back to you um, act like you're interested and sometimes you have to act like it And you know what that's okay too I don't feel like it every day I don't know if any of y'all have uh, ever heard um, the saying um, love is not a feeling it's an action it's an action and you have to make a decision every single day when you wake up to do those actions that it takes I don't know how many of y'all are married I'm married do I love my husband yes I do do I feel like I love my husband all the time 
No, he makes me mad. <laughs> and he knows he makes me mad. <laughs> but I choose to love him, and I choose to treat him like I love him. So I say that just to um, solidify the idea that it's an action. You've got to make a decision to make that step every single day to um, create what it is that you want out of your business. Um, I got to step it up. I got to step it up. I've learned that this week and that's exactly what I plan on doing. So if y'all have any questions, let me know. Tori, I know you're on the same page with me, girl. <laughs> Oh, I know a lot of you are. I, you know, it was we got through the holidays and they were crazy and we got off our schedules and, and all that. But you know what? We're back. <laughs> we're back to reality, right? So anyway, if you're just joining, be sure to watch the replay. I think there's some pretty good information here. It's a short but sweet little training. Short but sweet. But I think there's a lot of uh, really good info. Again, if you're watching on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button and that little bell button that will notify you whenever I upload new training. Um, and you know what? If you are looking for a team to join, maybe you're interested in paparazzi, um, send me a message. I'd love to chat with you. If you're already on my team, you know I love you. Thank you girls for hanging out with me, trusting me to, to help lead you. Um, the Papa Stars are, we're, we're doing well. We're doing well. I'm, I don't know about y'all, but I'm really enjoying the weekly um, uh, little team activities we're doing on our team page. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. I didn't get a whole lot of response on yesterday's um, Words of Life Wednesday. Y'all need to do that. That's so much fun. When your name pops up, you're going to want people to tell, give you a, a word of wisdom. So anyway, my son is headed this way. He's fixing to jump in the car. So I'm going to let you girls go. Know that I love you. And um, we will do this again really soon. Work on your algorithm work and get live. That's it. Algorithm work and going live consistently. I love you girls and we will see y'all next time.